Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Crashy, and today really wanted to get this video out, something I've been wanting to talk about. It's like, what, two days, three days into having the arena mode out, and I definitely think it's time to give my thoughts on it, my review on it. That's probably what I'll title the video, and just overall, um, like, you know, share some information and thoughts about it. For one, I am going to, like, very briefly cite a... A source and I'm gonna have this reddit post down in the description below and basically this reddit post again like I said very briefly and it really brings up a lot of inconsistencies with the point system and how it works and how many points are being given out versus taken away and I'm gonna kind of touch on that very lightly uh, from my perspective but this post is very informative it's definitely something you want to go check out I linked it on Twitter earlier uh, today or yesterday depending on when you're watching this video and it was pretty insightful and definitely something uh, that I think is worth the read and and super kudos to the to the uh, reddit user that made it because uh, it was uh, you know as well as well put together and I definitely appreciate that so the arena mode is epic games version of like an open ranked mode and it features seven divisions from open division one two three contenders division one two three or like four five six I, I don't even know <laughs> I don't even remember what, how it's titled but there's seven divisions open to contender to champion and it, you know in theory it's pretty cool and um, you you know, it definitely gives us that structured, ranked feel that we're looking for, but there are definitely some glaring issues and some things that need to be changed. And I have a nitpick specifically. This is definitely something I'm bringing up, and it's not something that I've seen a lot of complaints on, but I just feel like this mode lacks... Uh, a certain theatrical presentation to it it's just kind of boring it's just like contenders one two three and open one two three and it's just kind of it's just kind of bland like they they couldn't have come up with like their own names or they couldn't have gone you know bronze to diamond like a lot of you know traditional rank systems like literally anything other than what they did in my opinion because it's just it's just very bland now if you are going to go with these name divisions where they have like a numbered division within them this this ranked mode needed to be way more depth than just seven seven divisions you know what i mean or it could be it would be essentially three divisions where it's open contender and champion and then there are numbered divisions with inside of you know each rank or something however you want to look at it like that um so i just feel like the presentation is just off and again i'm going to bring this up first because it's just a nitpick it doesn't really matter what matters is how the system works how it feels what kind of games we're getting and what the end result is and that's what we're going to be talking about today so um i don't know it's just kind of ugly it's, it's not very it's not very like there's no pizzazz there's no showmanship to it it doesn't feel good to say like Oh yeah, I'm contender five, division five, or you know, I'm contender or champion. It just doesn't seem that weighted, and that's that's not fun when it comes to a ranking system. But the issue, the issue that I'm seeing personally, and this is we're gonna talk basically like you know from the end backwards, is that the games aren't serious. Nobody's taking these games serious. Everybody's W king. They're all playing for the kill points. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you win and you know for a lot of you know the first two divisions you don't even first two or three divisions you don't even pay a bus fare so it's it's just not working the system isn't working because a ranked mode is supposed to emulate the competitive scene and this is emulating um siphon pubs you know it's it's maybe with sweatier players because people are obviously trying to grind and climb up and there is a uh, you know a semblance of skill-based matchmaking to the back end but we don't really know how that works and ultimately the game quality is very poor in terms of practice why why is this the case well i think there's a couple of different reasons one there is and I've been saying this about the gauntlet format. I'm gonna use that as the most recent one that we can talk about. The the format is is way overvaluing kills. In my opinion, 10 points for a full win. I mean, if you're the victor of the match, you get 10 points. That's just not enough compared to the fact that you could just land somewhere and potentially kill like five people and still have a really solid game and go on to earn more points as well. So I personally think that it would be best to take a system very similar to the ESL system where like every placement for let's say top 25, maybe top 50 is rewarded. And that way you can get very, like every single place would matter, but that's not necessarily the case. And we'll just use their little thresholds and what they have in place now to talk about how they can make this better. 
and how they can make this better is me personally I would add an additional 10 points in there I don't know if you sprinkle it in you know or if you you know you throw an additional boom five points on winning or an additional 10 points on winning but personally if you're trying to put on a ranked mode in a game that you know where people are truly wanting to get really good practice really solid stacked end games where people are taking the game seriously if these players want points you can't leave it this way you can't leave it where kill points are super valuable and placement points are there and yes they're great to get don't get me wrong because why wouldn't you try to get kill points and placement points but they're just not valued high enough for everybody in the lobby to try to play for their life and that's only one part of the solution in my opinion so i think another five to ten points in total maybe up to 20 to 25 points total for a victory royale should be where the placement points are and that needs to be divvied around and moved shuffled around a little bit but you get my point raise the placement points people play for their life more essentially now here's my other thought the bus fares need to go up and at minimum they need to be consistent across the board there should maybe at minimum only be one division if we're looking at again i'm trying to look at what's in place here i'm trying not to build my own ranking system i'm talking about what's in place here of the seven divisions open one should be maybe the only one that doesn't have a bus fare and this is truly for any skill level player the intro to competitive so it puts them in the system and says hey welcome climb your way up through this first division as like a trial run you know what i mean as like a like a like a hey welcome to competitive this is what games are going to maybe potentially look like at least at this rank and um this is what the system is for so you you intro players into competitive without much of a uh, a penalty for them that i'm totally fine with but to have like two or three divisions i think it's three i really i should have done my research better or just written my notes out better um to have like two or three divisions where you don't pay a bus fare it, it just makes no sense you're this is a time game now so now it's a game of spending more time to climb because eventually someone who's not losing points is going to keep gaining points does that make sense like i could lose 15 20 games and get one kill and guess what i went up that doesn't make any sense so maybe one division can have no bus fare but i think at minimum across the board it should be a two bus fare all the way up now as we increase in rank depending on how many points are being giving out those bus fares may need to go higher and personally for me what i have said and this again has room for interpretation or, or has room for discussion and shuffling things around i think if you're placing bad because other ranked modes are based on like elo based rank modes are based on winning and losing and that's kind of a hard thing to achieve in a, in a br but i think if you were to look at the lobby let's say you know the top 50 percent of players are essentially being looked at as winning right you're you're kind of winning in terms of your bit you're better than half the lobby and the bottom 50 percent of the lobby is kind of losing so what if the bottom 50 players or the bottom half teams um what if they lost points so what if you now have let's say uh division two is minus two point bus fare and if you're not in the top 50 percent of players so if you're not you know what i mean like if you're not top 50 or higher in solos you're gonna lose points you're gonna lose an, an additional one or two points on your rating because ultimately the goal should be to play your life to slay out to get kills when you can and to try to win the game it's not just a slaying game it's not just a placement game we need to have things in place that are punishing players for just spamming games and going crazy and we need to have things in place that are rewarding players for being ultra consistent and going into the late game more and more as you know that's kind of like the goal of battle royale so in conclusion my thought is like to TLDR this summary, I think that placements should gain an additional uh, anywhere between five and 10 more points total leading up to about 20 to 25 points. Because I think even if you were to like spread those points out pretty evenly, I think throwing like an additional five points on top of a victory royale would be super cool. Just because it's like, oh man, we got that win. It feels like super impactful. And on the flip side of that, I think if you're performing poorly consistently, like if you're constantly in the bottom like of the lobby you're dying early you're dying off spawn all the time i think you should actually be punished for that i think you should be losing points on top of the standard bus fare that you would have to spend per rank you know, like per division depending on how high up you are because i do think that bus fare should increase the higher you go so ultimately in conclusion again 
we need better quality practice and in order to get better quality practice you need to have a better like points curve you need to have a better def like the, the the system needs to better define what the player's actions are and i think consistently for a while we've had a very w key aggressive format and i would like to see that change because when money's on the line when you only have 10 games it doesn't play this way and so there's no reason for us to have a system that does this um and you know what i mean like okay so look at like the gauntlet when you're open there's no you know there's a there's a bus fare or whatever but when you go into tournament there's no bus fare so that's truly the bus fare that the losing points is truly a mechanic to make it a more long-running ranked mode so we can keep the same system in place essentially um and then just remove the bus fare and negative points part of it whenever it comes tournament mode but i think we need to find a system that truly works for ranked and I think some of these changes that I've proposed could do just that. So thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and make sure you tweet at me and spread the word. If you're, uh, I never do this plug part, not very good at it, but if you want, make sure you subscribe to the channel and put on post notifications. So whenever you get my uh, videos, you'll know and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, peace. Do you feel the fire inside of me?